podcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello and welcome everyone to today's webinar on uh, starting your business career in Munich and Berlin. We have two presenters today. Uh, we have with us uh, Viola Tasch, who represents the Berlin Pre Professional School, Berlin School of Economics and Law. And uh, we also have Dr. Dolores Folkert, who is um, the representative here in North America in San Francisco uh, from the Technical University in Munich. And uh, my name is Hanni Geist. I represent the German Academic Exchange Service, DAD, in the San Francisco office. And you see here, our contact information. So if at any point after this webinar you want to get in touch, uh, please feel free to do so using uh, the email addresses. Uh, what are we going to do today? Um, I will briefly talk to you about DAD and the scholarships that are available to you if you want to study at the universities in Germany. And then we will jump right in and learn more about um, earning a business degree in Berlin first and then uh, at the Technical University in Munich. And then we will have still um, quite a bit of time at the end for Q&A. Um, a little bit of housekeeping before we start. If you're not familiar with the GoToWebinar tool, all lines are muted, but uh, feel free to type in any questions at any point um, using your GoToWebinar um, box, um, the question box. Um, if you do have problems with the audio at some point, uh, try switching, um, use mic and speakers. And um, if this really doesn't work, you can always use the telephone. Um, there are handouts. There are four handouts in the handout section. Uh, you see here, this is just a dummy, but um, in your panel, there should be four handouts to uh, from the University in Berlin and then two from the TU Munich. Um, and I record this webinar um, and we will also share the slides. And um, as I said earlier, feel free to get in touch with us at a later point. I will send a follow-up email um, to everyone who is registered. So you can just simply click on the link for the recording and also uh, for our webinar archive. And now just very briefly, uh, to give you a little bit of um, more information about DAD, uh, we represent higher education abroad. Uh, we um, offer um, support and, and general information and counseling uh, for anyone who's interested in studying and research in Germany. But of course, we're also, uh, and that's uh, most important for a lot of students, offer scholarships and grants for students and researchers uh, of all academic fields and all stages and all disciplines. And there are two uh, funding opportunities I just want to briefly mention to you, um, which is relevant to um, you if you want to study a um, master's in Germany, is the study scholarship um, for that's available for U.S. and Canadian-based students. You don't have to be U.S. or Canadian um, citizen. Um, if you studied in the U.S. with a bachelor's degree, you're also eligible as an international student. And this scholarship will allow you to study in Germany, pursue master's, and get the full two years funded, which uh, funds your living expenses and health insurance and also your travel expenses to Germany. Uh, the deadline each year is November 4th, um, and you don't have to be accepted into university yet. You just need to know where you want to go, and today is a really great opportunity to learn more about two uh, universities. And then the second uh, funding opportunity is the research grant, and that is available to um, graduate students, uh, PhD candidates, and postdocs for those who want to uh, pursue a degree in the U.S. but are really interested in maybe studying um, or doing research in Germany for a little bit of um, time. And there are short-term grants and long-term grants. And again, that will also cover your living expenses, travel stipend, and health insurance. For this one, there are two application dates, um, two for the short-term um, grant and one for the long-term. And um, for the research grant, you will need to know where you want to go and um, really have an invitation already by the host and a clear um, idea of what you want to do during your research abroad. This was just uh, really briefly two funding opportunities that are available to you. There is more funding available. Um, you can visit us at DAD.org or for Canadian um, 
listeners dadcanada.ca if you uh, happen to listen to this webinar later on and you're outside of the US um, other funding opportunities for other countries are available on funding-guide.de and uh, with that I finish my brief presentation again that was pretty fast um, but feel free uh, to get in touch with me later on if you have any questions and uh, right now I would like to hand over the microphone and also uh, the screen to Viola Tash um, calling in today from Berlin. Yes, hello. I hope you can all hear me and see me well. Mm -hmm. um, yes, great. Um, so just a warm welcome from Berlin from my side. I will just um, turn off the camera for a second um, because I'd like to just go through the presentation to give you a little overview um, of what we can offer here in Berlin and then we can answer your questions later on. Um, so, oops, just a second. So I think most of you already know a little bit about Berlin, Germany's capital city. Um, as you can see on these pictures, it's very um, diverse city, has lots to offer, a lot of history, um, culture, art, fashion. It has a very big international community. Um, you can use English to get around with and um, compared to our other um, you know, neighbor cities or other European capital cities, just like, for instance, London or Paris, um, Berlin still has pretty low prices. So living expenses are not as high as they are over there. And um, a question that we get asked a lot is if it's a safe city. And I have to tell you that actually, yes, it is. Um, even as a woman, you can feel safe when going out, for instance, so you don't have to worry about this. So the Berlin School of Economics and Law is um, the third largest school of applied science um, for the qualification in business administration and economics in Germany. And um, we have about 150 partner universities, which is um, quite a lot compared to the size of our school. Um, and it is a university of applied science. That means that we um, have a lot of practical um, aspects combined. And our professors, for instance, they need to prove um, work industry of uh, work experience of the industry that they teach. And so um, that gives you the possibility to to start um, a network early on, for instance, or we offer case studies with companies and yeah a lot of practical practical works and the campus is located right in the center of berlin that makes it easy to get to and we do um although the mba program that i will just talk about in a minute is quite common in the united states it's not as common um, here in germany but our school actually started it in germany in 1992 so that gives us a lot of um, experience so these are a few um, partner universities that our institute cooperates with. Um, you can see we also have a few in the United States. But if you choose one of the programs that I will present, you um, might get the possibility to even take part in short exchanges or visits to one of those um, countries or universities here, for instance, to Hong Kong. So our MBA um, program is Something I'm sure um, most of you already know, um, but I'd just like to say it's a, it's a master's program that focuses on leadership skills that wants to um, prepare students for future management positions. It's a full-time 15-month um, program and it's entirely in English. So you do not need any German language skills when starting here. Um, we have accreditations that are quite um, high qualified. For instance, the so-called MBA um, accreditation. It's a European um, MBA one that um, has yeah sets pretty high standards, and 
something that we also offer next to our career service is the welcome service and support. So for instance, we do actually pick up our students from the airport, not all of us, just <laughs> um, one of our colleagues. Um, so because we have so many international students and we know you're all um, new to the city, so we um, help you get started. Then um, I'd like to um, show you another program, another master's program, Master of Science program, International Business Management. Um, this one um, is again 15 months full time in English and this one, um, this gives you the opportunity to um, even spend an entire semester abroad in, in London or India if you wish to. And it just, yeah, focus on international management and gives you quite a lot of um, courses to choose from um, and just to focus uh, depending on your uh, on your interests. And then um, I'd like to um, show you a third very interesting program that again is entirely in English. That is our Chinese European Economics and Business studies master <laughs> sorry for the long name um, this one even has um, the advantage to give you a double degree so um, you could gain a degree from our university and another one from our partner university in Chengdu in China the so-called SWUFA this program program even includes a semester at SWUFA and if you wish two semesters and um, yeah for this one you also do not need um, German language um, skills and you don't need Chinese language skills we offer courses for that so our master programs those that I just talked about of really very international. Um, so we have students from Germany, of course, because we're based in Berlin, but we have uh, students from actually all over. This is just an example, those flags you can see here. So our last MBA intake, we had um, 30 students from 17 different nationalities. And this is also what makes it just unique because um, the students can learn from each other. Um, you know, with all those different um, cultural backgrounds and also different work experience and different academic backgrounds makes um, the group just very, um, very special. Just briefly, the admission requirements for those three master programs. For those you need to have completed a first university degree, for instance, a bachelor degree. And um, open to all subjects because we require work experience um, depending on the program between one and three years and um, that is why we are able to just accept very different academic backgrounds it doesn't have to be business related and of course for you as english native speakers you don't need to prove a uh, proof of english language skills um, the fees for those programs are between 12,250 euro and 17,800 for the entire program um, so you just need to budget for your personal spendings for housing of course um, and for of course you know food and and just what you spent privately. We do have MBA scholarships for women and you can still apply for and you can still apply for all of those programs with the start in September this year. Although it's you know you shouldn't if you consider this you shouldn't spend too much time on thinking about it and also because the visa process and everything usually takes a while so you shouldn't um, yeah just waste time. <laughs> Why should you study at the Berlin School of Economics and Law? Um, I think there are a lot of reasons. Um, one of them certainly is that we do have reasonable tuition fees compared to our um, private competitors. So the Berlin so our University is a public school, but um, offers these um, programs. And most of our competitors are private universities and they just charge very different fees compared to us. Um, 
we have uh, professors with management experience. Um, they teach you in small groups. So it's usually not more than, let's say, 30 students in one course. So that makes it become very personal um, relationship between the students and the professors. Um, we do have, yeah, offer language courses because we want to encourage you also to study some German because we think it's just important for you to, um, you know, even if, especially if you would like to stay in Germany that many, which many um, students actually plan, it's just um, helpful to also know some German. Um, Berlin is certainly um, a big class, so I just, um, we just spoke about our um, weather seasons and of course the winter is not you know the nicest time to come to Berlin but I can assure you apart from that um, it's a place you won't forget there are so many possibilities what you can do here in Berlin and so many people you will meet um, that I just think it makes um, the program just really worth it these are our students um, graduating last year at the Berlin City Hall. So we can actually rent it for <laughs> those kind of events. And um, yeah, you could be one of those students next year if you wish to. Um, I just um, added a few uh, contact information from my colleagues that are the coordinators of the programs that I just spoke about. If you have very specific questions, you know, they are the experts, they can answer everything. And if you are interested in um, one of those three programs, we do have online info sessions. Um, from our universities uh, on June 6th will be the next ones and they will you know speak about the curriculum and everything you you know all kinds of questions you might have all right thank you this is a brief introduction of what we can offer here at in Berlin thank you very much for your attention now I'd like to hand over to my colleague from the um, from the Munich University. Yeah, we're going from the northeast of uh, Germany, yeah. from Berlin to the south uh, to the Technical University of Munich. Yes, hello and greetings from the Technical University of Munich. As Honey guys already mentioned, uh, my name is Dolores Volkert and I'm head of TU Munich's North America office based here in San Francisco. Um, during the next couple of minutes, uh, I will give you a short presentation about TU Munich's um, School of Management, the programs we offer and the application process. For more information, you will find my contact details at the end of the presentation and we also provide handouts about the various programs here on this webinar platform. All right, um, our School of Management is very unique in Germany. Um, we actually carry out world-class research and teaching um, at the interface between management and technology. Since the establishment of our School of Management in 2002, the school consistently topped the rank rankings of business schools in Germany. Um, we attract students and researchers from all over the world and our job is to channel actually their enthusiasm for innovation and technology into real products by providing them with the management skills they require. We actually believe that entrepreneurship and social responsibility go hand in hand and we pass on these values to our students. The university um, itself has about 40 41,000 students and um, the School of Management in total has, ab has about 5,700 students, 35 professors and about 100 corporations with international universities to provide exchange opportunities for our students around the world, for example, in Brazil or the United States, Singapore or Australia. Um, our lecture period runs twice a year during winter from mid-October until mid-February, and during the spring from mid-April until the end of July. Um, we are also very proud that the School of Management is the first management school at the German Technical University to have received 
the prestigious Triple Crown accreditation in recognition of its excellence in technology-oriented teaching and research. What does the Triple Crown status mean? This criteria for Triple Crown um, include a highly international approach to teaching and research, high quality networks of external partners, close links with the business community, highly qualified teaching staff, and high ethical social responsibility and sustainability standards. There are two study locations. Um, the first one is our Munich campus. Munich itself is the capital of the German federal state of Bavaria, located in the south, where tradition actually meets innovation. It is Germany's third largest city and provides a strong economic center. Well-known enterprises such as BMW, um, Siemens, Infineon, Allianz, or Munich Re Group are headquartered here. Munich is located right next to the Alps and is home of the legendary Oktoberfest. But you must know that Munich is also one of the most expensive cities in Germany. Our second campus is located in Heilbronn. Heilbronn has experienced a new technological development through innovative family firms. It is well connected to cities like Stuttgart or Frankfurt, offers a beautiful landscape, low cost of living and good housing conditions. We offer a variety of programs at the TUM School of Management. First of all, there is on the bachelor level, our bachelor in management and technology. On the master level, we offer the master in management, the master in management and technology, and starting this fall, the master in consumer science. As a professional education with one year <clears throat> or more work experience, we offer the master in management and innovation. And as an executive education with three years or more of working experience, our executive MBAs and non-degree executive education programs. Our Bachelor in Management and Technology features courses in management studies as well as in natural sciences or engineering. The program runs for six semesters and allows for a semester abroad. You will be taught using methods that draw on the latest research as well as state-of-the-art industrial practice. The language instruction is either 100% in English, which is guaranteed only with computer engineering as your specialization in technology, or 55% in German and 45% in English. With our master in management and technology, we create a program that gives you an outstanding education in management, as well as a profound skills in engineering or natural sciences. Whether you want to follow your passion for science and technology while fostering your career in management, or whether you want to top your business studies with education and technology or the natural sciences, I think the master in management and technology is the right choice. I also mentioned the master in consumer science starting this fall, um, which is one of a kind uh, in, in Germany, it guarantees you a unique academic experience with fellow students from many different countries and academic backgrounds. This program actually comp combines perspective from, perspectives from, from a variety of disciplines, which makes it particularly challenging. You will need a sound theoretical and methodolo methodological foundation this is provided mainly by courses during the first two semesters, preparing you for more specialized courses in the last two semesters. The program includes a mandatory project studies module that provides you with hands-on experience in practical and interdisciplinary environment. All students spend at least a short period abroad as part of their degree, and that gives you an intercultural sensitivity that will greatly benefit you as a manager. Um, to apply to all these programs, um, you need to apply online um, with the uh, 
and you need to complete the application form. Important is that all applicants for master's degrees who did not obtain a qualification for postgraduate studies um, within the EU must apply via UniAssist and the TU Munich online system. Once you have submitted your application, you will receive a list of additional documents that you need to send to the registrar office, along with a printout of your application form. But you will find more detailed information about the whole application process um, either on the website or on the handouts we provide here in the webinar. Here are also our contact information. And I hope that this short presentation gave you an informative overview about the programs. And I'm happy to answer further questions either here or via email. Thank you. Thank you, Dolores. So for the um, Q&A, I will uh, start my Hello, I will start my uh, video here. Um, are there any questions? I have actually um, two questions that I already prepared. Um, um, in the meantime, um, you feel free to type in your questions. The first question is, um, what kind of student services do you offer specifically for international students? For example, those who may have questions about visa or maybe those um, who um, need a little bit more support in um, navigating German bureaucracy or um, maybe finding an apartment. And maybe, uh, Dolores, would you start? Uh, what um, services are available for international students at the Technical University? Sure. In um, especially, I think having this office here in the United States uh, is one of the services we provide. So um, we try to reach out to the students here and give them the information they need in advance to their studies in Germany. But also when students arrive in Munich, we have a couple of people at the faculties, but also in the in the general administrative offices to provide information they need, especially regarding housing or you already mentioned visa application and things like that. Um, I mentioned in my presentation that Munich is one of the most expensive cities in uh, Germany. So housing is kind of a problem, but we try to um, help our students to find a place where they can stay whether it's an apartment or a dorm at the university. So uh, we have a couple of people dealing with all these issues. Mm -hmm. Yes, as for Berlin, I can um, tell you that we also have coordinators um, who support you with everything necessary you need to know because since we have almost only and I, w I wouldn't say only but so many international students um, they are well equipped and <laughs> very experienced in helping you um, with visa issues housing again is also an, a topic in Berlin um, just because Berlin is so attractive it makes it uh, sometimes a challenge to find something but um, that's why we do have our coordinators helping the students um, to find a place um, to share an apartment with other students, find a place, a dormitory and so on. Um, our application process is um, online. Um, they help you with this again. And at this point, you just need to hand on just to upload basically copies. Um, and you will have an, an interview, um, an online interview. So there's no need to to travel to Berlin or you know any to have any effort before coming here, before actually starting to study here. And um, yeah, as I mentioned, we pick up our international students from the airport um, and bring them to their first place. And then we have a whole welcome week. Uh, when the semester starts. Okay, perfect. And just um, from from the DAD uh, side, um, to to those that seek general information, also the the DAD.de page and the study-in.de page also are general uh, resources for um, international students. Anything um, about accommodation and also uh, maybe um, finding finding work. Um, so that's also available. And the second question that I have, and maybe uh, Ms. Tasha, if, if you want to start here, 
Um, where are your alumni five years after graduation? So someone who's uh, looking into maybe um, pursuing a, um, a degree program in Berlin, um, how, um, where, where are they after, after five years? Can you give a, a few examples um, so that um, prospective students can, can see themselves um, after graduation? Yes. Um, so actually, we have a very uh, diverse, um, you know, placement um, statistics, if you want to call it this way. So um, since we also offer very different um, programs, our MBA program, for instance, um, does give the opportunity to start an a MBA in entrepreneurship. And so we have students to actually found their own companies, um, very different types of companies, obviously. And then we have students with international focus uh, that um, are abroad. And many of our international students, you know, stay in Berlin again or in Germany. So everything you want, we, we kind of have it. We have students who start as um, project managers or um, in the upper management. Also, um, we have global players such as um, Siemens company or many big um, German companies that um, we cooperate with even during your studies um, since our career service offers um, job fairs, um, graduate talks, they help you with application, they have a lot of network um, opportunities for you. So usually um, we don't find it difficult for our students to um, find good jobs afterwards. Something that we do not track because it's just not part of our culture is we do not ask for salary. Um, you know, it's just not common in, in Germany to ask our alumni um, what, uh, you know, how much they just mm. earn afterwards. And I know it's, that's a difference in the United States. You know, you would you would do this, but that's something we from our school, we, we just don't do. Mm -hmm. So I can't yeah. tell you about this. <laughs> how about for the Technical University Munich? Uh, to answer the last question, no, we don't do that either. So we can't <laughs> track the, the rages. But um, I think one of the advantages of the Technical University of Munich is that it's actually based in the Munich region. And I mentioned in the presentation already all the large companies and they're all headquartered uh, in Munich. So there is quite a connection already during the studies for students to get in touch with those companies, to um, do internships with those companies, but also to have a starting point after graduation um, to find a job um, either at BMW or Siemens or uh, all the other companies. Um, the second advantage I think to mention is that the university calls itself an entrepreneurial university, which means that we support our students and graduates um, in terms of fostering ideas and coming up with their own ideas and coming up with their own startups. So another another opportunity for, for students is not to go to the big companies, but to, um, you know, join other uh, students and um, start their own business. And the third advantage is actually that we have our campus in Heilbronn. Heilbronn is not in Bavaria. <laughs> But um, it's, it's very unique for a German university to have a campus outside their own state. Mm -hmm. So we have um, the new campus in Heilbronn. And this campus is unique because in Heilbronn, you have all the family businesses. So the mid-sized and small-sized companies. So another opportunity for students is to go to those companies and to work in family-run businesses. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. I actually have a specific question for uh, Ms. Tash. Uh, what are the details for the female MBA scholarship um, um, an attendee asks? So what are the requirements for that? Um, the requirements, I mean, uh, apart from um, that you need to be accepted for the MBA program in, in general. So having, you know, the right degree and, and the work experience and so on is um, that we actually want to support women for leadership positions. So we want to see just a kind of personality that fits into that. Um, so especially if you have a wish, a vision uh, um, or any specific experience that um, you think this is really worth supporting because you have 
ideas you really want to make a career um maybe also start your own company or work in a, in a, um I, you know, you name it. So we have all kinds of um, possibilities for you. So we, you would have to hand in a motivation letter and you could also hand in um, additional references, anything that proves, um, you know, what you want to tell us. So, and then we have an, um, a board that looks into it and that invites those um, candidates also for an interview, an on online interview. So you don't need to travel to Berlin for that. And then we do give out five um, scholarships, um, but they're partial scholarships. So mm -hmm. they won't cover the entire um, program fees. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Um, we're at the end of our, our time. I think we're past uh, due. Um, just uh, briefly, I wanted to give you both the opportunity to maybe mention something that you uh, haven't mentioned yet in, in your presentation. <laughs> uh, maybe uh, Technical University Munich and Toulouse, uh, Fagad, would you like to start and just say some, some anything, uh, the last last words you, you maybe uh, want to say before we uh, end this webinar? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I would like to thank you actually to give us the uh, opportunity to present uh, our various programs here and I would like to um, yeah, mention that I'm here to answer questions uh, even uh, by email or via telephone. If, if you have questions afterwards, please feel free to contact me and I'm happy to help you um, with regard to the studies at, at TU Munich. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Ms. Taj, any, any last words you would like to uh, say to our attendees and those who may listen to it later on? Um, well, yeah, that's a good question. So also from my side, um, thank you for your, for your patience, for your, for listening to us. Um, I just hope to see many of you in Berlin. C come to our city. It's a great place um, mm -hmm. to live. <laughs> you will like it. It's it's a popular city, and there are reasons for it. And um, yeah, again, um, we're also happy to answer your questions if you have anything you would like to know that is um, you know regarding the programs I just presented or something else. You know drop us a line and we'll happy to answer your questions um yeah apart from that hope to see many of you soon okay wonderful uh, thank you uh, and so um just a few words for me if you um if you listen live um i will send a follow-up email today with a recording and also uh with the link to the archive where you can also download the presentations again um, and uh, you will also see our contact information in the follow-up email, so you can really um, get in touch with us directly if you have any questions. And with that, um, a good evening uh, to Berlin. Uh, thank yes, you for joining us you. from Berlin <laughs> and to uh, us in San Francisco. Um, Dolores, I hope you have a wonderful day. And to those thank listening, um, thank you for joining us today, and I hope to see you sometime soon. Have a good day. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.